Hey YouTube and welcome to the channel. So it's snow check season and here I am looking at the 24 Polarises. First off we're going to look at the Indy Evo short track. I bought one of these in uh, January of 20 as an in-season model and going through the uh, features and I don't see anything different about this machine other than the color from what I can tell it's the exact same machine looking at the specs I don't see anything different and really makes me struggle with justifying the two thousand dollar price increase for this machine so here's a, a site I found shows fifty nine hundred dollars for the machine I think I paid six thousand for it back in January of 20 um, I probably had to pay some type of dealer fee or whatever or the registration I don't know but anyway um, that's still it's it's a two thousand dollar price difference so we're actually going to be more because you'd probably pay the same dealer setup and those fees too so it's just kind of crazy and discouraging Okay, now we're in a ditch banger class, and here is the $15,900 Indy XCR650. This machine now comes with a 650cc motor, um, different colors. I doubt those hand guards are included in it. It's probably an option that they show. It's snow check only. I don't know if the 20 XCR600 was snow check only. Check that out. I don't know why it's so high in the rear. It's uh, weird. But anyway, um, is it worth $3,400 more in, since the model year 20? Um, to me it isn't, but maybe it is. You are getting an electric start, but you don't have a choice. They're forcing it on you. And I think that's a mistake. This is a rider sled. Um, why would you want the added weight of the battery and the heavy electric start motor on this thing? And then from what I read in forums, it doesn't come with a backup pull starter. I think that's a huge mistake. Um, it just, I have no interest in this machine. It's, I don't know why they're going the direction they are going. And I, that added cost is unacceptable to me. Okay, so this is the 20XCR600 that I have. And it's listed for $12,500. I'm going to have to go to an inflation calculator to see if that $3,400 price increase is justified. So here we are with an inflation calculator. If you haven't used one of these, I highly recommend it. I um, rely on them to help me through my EOG problem. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. You have early onset grumpiness. What? Early onset grumpiness, EOG. You're going to begin... Okay, so the inflation calculator shows that the price has gone up, but it's still listed for $1,369 more than it should be with inflation alone. Okay, so I'm going to shift gears on you, and we're going to wander over to the Yamaha website. We're going to look at dirt bikes. We're going to look at the YZ250X because it's a two-stroke, and I have one, so I'm familiar with it. I have a 21 model. And anyway, the 23 model is going for basically $8,000, plus it's got its fees. And I went ahead, and their site will also show the price for the 22 model. And if you look at the difference, it only went up like $200. That's significantly lower than what the snow machines are doing makes you wonder why that is well here, here's what i think the snow machine market is just continually in decline every year the international snow machine manufacturers association will go ahead and put out what how many machines that they sold it's it's pretty interesting the high point was in 1997 that they sold the most machines and then we have been declining every year almost every year since then. You can see from the chart, it just keeps going down, down, down. It's kind of leveled off, but our, this, the numbers that they're selling are close to what they were selling in the 80s, and 
the lineup in the 80s was much, much smaller than it was today. Let's go back in history. This is a 1986 Polaris brochure. I got this from the dealership. And look at the lineup. You got two Springers. Well, actually another Springer, 440 Springer, a utility sled. Here we are, we're in the performance sleds. The ditch bangers. This is 1980s. Remember the chart I showed you? They're hardly selling anything. They have a trail Indy, a 400 Indy, a 600 Indy, and then a Stilux 600 Indy. And that's it. They pared down the, the amount of machines they were selling. And this brochure was actually really cool. Um, it's really hard to see, but the, the dealer had to, they used to put the, the, how much these machines cost in the brochure. And since the dealer was in Alaska, he had to take a Sharpie and mark them out. But I was in high school and I erased it. Here you are. You're in the eighties. Players almost went bankrupt and, uh, um, Textron actually owned them. If you guys remember anyway, I, I'm, let's get back to this. So they're hardly selling any machines. So the price of this 86 trail Indy was 3000 or basically $3,500. And in today, 23, it would be worth $9,630, which they're fan cooled. That's actually, they're doing pretty good because I think that Indy sport short track is about $10,000 and it would, they're actually doing way better because I remember it was cheaper a few years ago. But then, so then we get into the 400 Indy and that was listed here for uh, $3,749. But then in today's dollars, it would be worth $10,318. This was basically your mid-range um, machine. This would have been like a 600 today. Um, really popular. You're saying... So $10,318 in today's money, you know, and now a 600, what we, what we say? 15,000, was it 15,9? Was that what it was? That's just a huge cost difference. And then here's, here's the big one. This is the, uh, this would be like your 850. You would even consider it the boost or the the 9R. I mean, this this is the top of the line. You know, the guys that got this, they were more in the image. This was the one you got, the, the rider sled. And back then, it was going for 4000 basically $5,000. And in today's money, it would be worth $13,758 in, with inflation. And <laughs> what what's a... What are, they, what are they at now? The top of the line sleds, 20. You can see where the problem is with the snow machine market. They are pricing themselves out of business. I, that's my opinion. Um, I'll, give you, I'll give you another example with uh, four wheelers. Okay, we're, we're heading back over to the Yamaha website and we're going to look at the Grizzly, well actually Kodiak 450. I have a Grizzly 450. I bought it in 07. It was around six thousand dollars, really close to six. I thought it was expensive at the time, but look at them. Right now they're going for sixty nine hundred. Last year's the twenty two model was going for sixty six hundred dollars. They've not jumped up in price drastically, so <laughs> snow machine market can't keep selling fewer and fewer sleds. For more and more money but then look at this arctic cats sold out but does that mean that they actually made a bunch or they make a hundred of them um with arctic cat you don't know because i remember the was it last year or the year before the racers didn't actually have enough machines to race cross country because there's a minimum build arctic cat didn't sell enough that so the racers were out <laughs> They had to race last year's model, so Arctic Cat selling out. I don't know if that really means much of anything. Okay, guys, I didn't really mean for this video to go as long as it did, but uh, 
I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Um, I have been riding snow machines and buying them since the 80s. Um, I'm basically in the age group that is their prime market, and I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to buy new machines anymore. I don't think that they're worth the money. Um, the, curious what other guys think. Um, I love riding snow machines, but I can't justify it anymore. I can go buy three Yamaha TTR 230 dirt bikes for the cost of one XCR 650. That right there should tell the snow machine manufacturers there's something wrong with their, with their business plan. So that's enough for me. I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, please leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on the state of the 24 snow checks and uh, the prices. Are, are you, are you going to snow check? What, what's your long range plan? What do you think in general of the snow machine market? Uh, I'd like to get other opinions because maybe I'm just up here in Alaska being a grump and... Uh, somehow missing out on uh, something. I don't know. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.